it's become pretty clear at this point that Kevin Feige has a very full dance card, especially, well, everywhere really, but right now we're talking about the silver screen. And with so many solo movies on the horizon, when the heck are we going to get our next Avengers adventure? Well, the obvious answer is that some of these solo movies will be mini Avengers movies. You know, like Captain America Civil War turned out to be. That turned out great. And I can in fact confirm that those two mini Avengers movies will be Doctor Strange 2 and the Multiverse of Madness, but also Captain Marvel 2, which at the moment is looking like a secret invasion storyline. It would be cool if it was A-Force, but I think clearly there's a lot more money in a secret invasion movie where everyone can play, right? A-Force, I think everyone should like A-Force, but uh, I don't know, maybe for Captain Marvel 3 or sometime down the line. But um, secret, secret invasion so good, I would, I would definitely want to do that. And both of those movies have very clever ways to bring in other MCU characters. It's not just your regular guest appearance. Although, your best friend, uh, and maybe more than that, killed my parents, was pretty interesting as well. That was a pretty interesting context. But anyway, for Doctor Strange 2, you have the multiverse, for reals this time, which means alternate versions of our favorite MCU characters. But remember, they've been shaped by different life experiences, and they're therefore the same but also different. And maybe some of them are dead in other universes, in other multiverses. Uh, and some of those non-dead versions could maybe even stick around, like the workaround of how Gamora was brought back from the dead at the end of Avengers Endgame. But it would not be the, you know, Gamora was just in a different timeline of her evolution as a character. She's still a little rough around the edges because she hadn't, you know, joined up with the Guardians yet. But here you'd have characters who were very, very different, even though they were played, you know, Conceivably, although not necessarily by the same actor. Who knows who picks up the mantle maybe in another multiverse. But they could decide to stick around at the end of Doctor Strange in the multiverse. But, or come back if they turn out to be very popular. But then anyway, also in Captain Marvel 2, of course, with Secret Invasion, you, have, you could have MCU characters returning to be revealed only as shape-shifting scrolls. That's pretty great. These are really fun things to do. And not only fun for us, but I think a lot of fun for the actors and the, um, the writers and directors as well. I think this is, this is cool, different stuff to do. Now, while well, Captain Marvel 2 is just starting to take shape, they just picked a writer who's just starting to outline it, right? Uh, and check out my recent Disney Plus video for details on how Ms. Marvel and a potential secret invasion series that Kevin Foggy is, is, is developing uh, might lead into that, uh, that Captain Marvel sequel. Uh, but there's already some very interesting things for us to discuss with Doctor Strange 2, which is much closer to production. And I don't think it's recent loss of a director is going to let, uh, Kevin Feige's not going to let it slow this movie down. So as we already know, the sequel will feature Doctor Strange, but also Wanda, fresh off of WandaVision, with in fact that show leading directly into this movie. But I'm also hearing from my sources, so uh, you know there's been some rumors about this, but I've now heard it directly from my own sources as well, that Brother Voodoo and American Chavez will indeed be appearing in Doctor Strange 2, but also his classic love interest from the comics, Clea. Uh, now, if you're not familiar with those characters or need a quick refresher, allow me. All right, so first up, Brother Voodoo. In the comics, Doctor Strange often teams up with others who wield magic, kind of like a mini, te you know, mini team. They're not like a, I don't, they're, I don't think they've ever been official, but it's always fun to see them assemble. One of my most recent favorite things was there was a mystical bar, and, you know, hidden in, a, hidden in a pocket in New York City that sometimes they'd all hang out and share a drink in and, you know, ask each other advice, you know, uh, casually. I thought it was great. But uh, of course, that includes Wanda, AKA the Scarlet Witch, Magic, AKA Ileana, kid sister of the Mutant Colossus, who's about to show up on the big screen in New Mutants and looks so good, maybe Kevin Feige will keep her, right? Uh, and then of course, Brother Voodoo has been a part of this group, AKA Jericho Drum. And in fact, the last two, Ileana and Drum, have actually served as the Sorcerer Supreme. Drum in actually you know, the Marvel Comics proper, while Ileana did it like in an alternate future timeline thing, where some character jumps into the future and Ileana's the Sorcerer Supreme. You know how it goes if you read comics. All right, so anyway, Jericho Drum is a voodoo sorcerer. So great, it's gonna be so cool to see on screen. And crucial elements to his character are that he hails from Haiti, 
He often interacts with the ghost of his brother Daniel, who practiced voodoo before Jericho, and in fact, um, looking into his death is what got Jericho himself into voodoo. Uh, Jericho can call on his brother's spirit to increase his own strength, and also Daniel's spirit can possess others, a little like dead man. Uh, if they get to that first, I'm not going to believe it. All right. Uh, Jericho also has been known to control fire and be immune to it. And, fi and also, finally, in the comics, he's interacted with voodoo spirits. A little bit like how Wonder Woman interacts with characters from Greek mythology. Again, as I said, it's going to be cool and ripe for its own movie or Disney Plus show. Uh, as for Clea, she is Dormammu's niece. Remember the name? But also, this is where things get a little bit awkward because... Uh, Dormammu's uh, character was partially motion captured and voiced by Benedict Cumberbatch, who, of course, plays Doctor Strange. And Clea, of course, ends up hooking up with him. Ah, weird. So anyway, uh, although Benedict, it was like a little fun Easter egg that Benedict Cumberbatch played that role. Luckily, you, you know, you can't really tell. Uh, but people will bring it up, I bet you for sure. I, I just did. All right, so she looks human, but she's not. She's, again, related to Dormammu. And in the comics, her first impression of Doctor Strange is that she's impressed with his courage in standing up to her uncle. So was she watching at the end of Doctor Strange? She was like, that time loop was pretty clever. Who is that guy? All right, so she eventually escapes Dorm Dormammu's dimension and becomes Doctor Strange's student before becoming romantically involved with him and even marrying him, kind of, you know, in like a Dormammu evil dimension kind of ceremony. And she actually ends up kind of ruling that dimension. She becomes quite powerful. It's also worth noting that her mother, Umar, I guess that's Dormammu's sister, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so sometimes that character dates Baron Mordo, right? So who says comic books aren't soap operas just with action and visual effects? And they're fabulous. All right, so finally, last but certainly not least, let's talk about America Chavez, a.k.a. Miss America. Yes, she's in the movie, and having a character who can punch her way between dimensions seems perfect for exploring the multiverse. No, right? Also, she does it in a very cool uh, way, which would be great for a movie. It's very visual that she creates star-shaped portals. Ilyana uses a cool sword. Uh, it's too bad they couldn't just use uh, Ileana, but you'll see for in a moment why it's great they're using America Chavez. So America Chavez creates these cool stars that you can walk through. It's a little on the nose with the America stuff, but wait a minute, just hold on. So she's codenamed Miss America. I don't know if the MCU will keep that. That seems like a step too far to me. And she served on a number of teams. She's a relatively new character, but you know, she's been busy. Um, but she made her biggest impression as a member of Young Avengers version 2.0. And of course, as I just detailed also in that Disney Plus video, the Young Avengers are coming. They're gonna be popping up in different places before they assemble all together, either in, mostly on Disney Plus, but in a movie here, that's a big deal for one of them to pop up in a movie, although Cassie Lang was in, uh, but not using any powers in Avengers Endgame. Uh, but anyway, uh, the Young Avengers will either have a movie or a Disney Plus series. Marvel hasn't decided just yet. But like her fellow Young Avengers, Wiccan and Hulkling, Chavez represents the LGBT community in multiple ways. Uh, while she might look Latina, she's actually an alien, and she was raised by two mothers who sacrificed themselves so she could eventually escape across the multiverse, and she eventually comes to our dimension. Chavez is also one of Marvel's few lesbian characters. Uh, there is a few of them. Uh, I think Runaways has probably the, this, the other probably, I'd say, of equal fame uh, to uh, Chavez. Uh, but Chavez uh, has been very important because of her high profileness, not just to the LGBT community, but as you can see, to the LGBT community of color. Very good to have that kind of representation. Uh, in addition to being able to travel the multiverse by punching holes in it, right, Chavez is basically rogue, not just to her super strength and flight, but also her temper and her sass. So what do you think of these new characters? And what do you think of Doctor Strange 2 and Captain Marvel 2 being mini Avengers movies? I just hope they're not too crowded. Captain America Civil War did a very nice job balancing everything out. Uh, and I think these movies, blockbuster films, are getting longer and longer. Uh, so I think it could work out really, really well. Uh, especially, again, because it's such interesting ways uh, to be to be crowded with the multiverse and, uh, you know, uh, shapeshifters impersonating people. I think that that's going to make up for any loss of character time, screen time. All right. So are, so are you excited for this? Uh, share your thoughts down below. Subscribe today. And of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.